Hello there. In this video, we are going to be checking out some cool extra tools and features that are really going to help you level up your Claude Code game. Also, you can find what you're seeing on your screen right now in the description below this video. Click that link and then you'll get all of these links and everything's free and feel free to explore. All right, let's kick things off with a few resources. So obviously YouTube, you're here right now and it's a great place to learn, but there are a few resources that are just comprehensive and mind-blowingly helpful. The first of which is Claude Log. This was the first like mega blog or whatever on Claude Code that I thought, wow, this is amazingly helpful. Not only are there tutorials and guides and stuff like that, but there's a metric ton of example sub agents and custom commands and just all sorts of tips, tricks, hints, hacks, the entire thing. It's really well done. So clodlog.com, I would suggest going here and just bookmarking that. You can come back as you need it, or if you have a little bit of time to kill, just find something you're interested in on there and read around. There's a lot there. Number two, Anthropic GitHub, same thing. I don't know where somebody pointed me to this, but especially the, first of all, they apparently have courses on here. I just noticed this this morning in doing research, but I have come here for the cookbook. This is where all of their cookbook example code lives for Claude code. And there's, again, tons of stuff here too. Most of it you can also find in the Anthropic documentation, which is also surprisingly good. I've been very happy with the Claude code documentation. Oh, there he goes, there we go. I've been very happy with this, but the GitHub is also something you should star or bookmark or whatnot and come back to and poke around. There's a ton of stuff here. I'm just trying to find, yeah, down here in the readmes are generally pretty good table of contents to find some example, I don't know, tooling and, and like I said, sub agents, custom commands, all of the different more advanced settings you can tinker with in Claude Code, it's all here, it's all here. So definitely bookmark that one. Number three, moving right along, we're going quick. There are two other GitHub accounts, which I have found really helpful. This one, I have come back to again and again. I recommend a lot to scroll through, but going down to the README and starting here, it's a good table of contents for Cloud Code sub agents. There's one more for sub agents as well, which I actually just discovered doing research for this video. I haven't really gone through and actually used any of these agents to be very clear, but I did look at his master list, I guess you could say, and I was very impressed. And there were some intriguing ones that I want to try out. This one I can speak for, I've used some of these and I continue to use some of these, especially the Git related ones. And there's a ton of stuff here from marketing, business stuff, in addition to just normal code, right? A metric ton of sub agents you can just literally copy and paste. They link to it directly in the readme and they're great. Grab these, tinker with them, etc. Moving right along, one more article and then I wanna get into some bigger resources. This one I found, I can't remember the guy's name on YouTube. Somebody pointed me to this on YouTube and I went through and sure enough, it's awesome. It's a couple of months old at this point. It has not been updated for some of the like newest, newest features, but this is an evergreen piece of content for agentic coding, which is what Claude Code is, of course. But if you are brand new, if you're experienced, by the way, you really don't need this article anymore, I think. But if you're brand new, start here. Instead of going to the documentation to try and figure out what is going on, I recommend starting with this best practices article. Read this first. It's actually pretty short in the grand scheme of things. It seems long when I'm scrolling right here, but it's actually pretty short. And it will give you everything you need to know in order to start using Cloud Code in a effective way immediately. So again, that's just an article. You can go click on that and read through. Really quick, I have found the Cloud AI and Cloud Code subreddits to be really helpful. Obviously, if you are not a Redditor, you probably won't have seen this sort of stuff before, but Claude AI and then Claude Code, and there's another one called Vibe Coding, which has over 50, 60K Redditors in there as well. There are lots of good tips and tricks here. There's also some self promo where people are like, oh, three things I've learned with Claude Code, and they're not that great, but the comment section is where you wanna go. For each of these, I would look at like the top post in each of these top we'll say the past like month even, top today, past month. And then I would look through the comments. Each one of these top posts are gonna have hundreds of comments usually. That one's just a funny one. But there are really helpful examples, guides, 
tutorials, Q and A. It's a, they're fantastic resources. So don't go comb through them now. You'll end up wasting a lot of time. But if you are a Redditor, obviously go join them and then you'll see them pop up naturally, right? There's a good, good ways to keep in touch with new changes as well, news and stuff like that. So let's switch gears a little bit and talk about a few tools. Let me start with the MCPs. I feel like there are three or four that you'll see everywhere on every YouTube video, like the one you're watching right now. I use two without fail. I used to use browser MCP and I do think Playwright is actually better. So that's on my list right here, but also context seven. I wanna point out though, the, you'll see these in like all the YouTube videos on Claude Code. So you probably already have these. However, I wanna mention an extra little bonus here. I'll link to context seven and GitHub, which has the quickest and easiest instructions for installing in Claude Code or elsewhere. You do it right here. I recommend going and getting an ABI key. It's free, it takes a minute and a half and it, it works faster. Uh, that said, you do not have to use these MCPs. These are both standalone tools outside of Agentic MCP. So for example, Playwright, you don't need to use the MCP. In fact, there are a lot of people that complain that Playwright, you know, it takes screenshots, it analyzes your logs in real time, your network logs as well, and, and just, it's fantastic. But it uses a lot of Claude Code tokens. It can be better to just use Playwright, the Playwright. Not Playwright MCP, just the Playwright, right? And you can go here and see they have great documentation as well on how to install these, usually just an NPM package or whatnot. It works in like every browser. It's fantastic. Or you can just use the MCP and be lazy. In which case you'll just install the Playwright MCP. It'll take screenshots automatically. It does start to clutter up your code bit, what am I doing right here? Let's see, play right now. Like, it'll take a bunch of screenshots. I constantly go through here and I'm like deleting them just because it doesn't delete them automatically. There might even be a setting for that. Somebody should let me know if that's the case. But other than that, make sure to clean out your screenshots just because they take up, you know, normal file size on your computer. I recommend putting them in Git Ignore, by the way. I think it, I can't remember if it did it by default or not anyways. But anyways, go in your Git Ignore file and make sure that you have no, mine's not in there, so must not do it on autopilot. The Playwright MCP. If you use the MCP, just know it's gonna take a bunch of screenshots and put info in there and you need to clear it out. But you don't have to use the MCP. Same thing for Context 7. I know I'm going all over the place, forgive me. But you can actually search for, I can type, there we go. You can actually grab these, just get the documentation you need. You don't have to do literally the entire thing. You can actually download them or copy them and put them in, a, I don't know, a markdown file in a context folder or a, a documentation folder. You can create a documentation folder in your repo and then just make sure Claude knows about it. You can even tell Claude, uh, hey, add this to the Claude.md file. So we'll reference this context for the documentation for, for me, it'd be Svelte 5 or Svelte Kit or Firebase, or Superbase, or Tailwind CSS, or Daisy UI, or like Shad C, or whatever. It doesn't matter. You can download them here instead of using the MCP. And then just, you, know, you could even just put it on a random place on your computer, I guess, or you just drop it right in your code base and just reference it. Git ignore so you don't push it live or whatever. There you go. Or you can just use the MCP. Just takes up a lot of tokens. Just know that. All right, a few other ones. So those are the, those are the two that I almost always have on. I replaced a few of them recently with Playwright. Firecrawl is a web scraper. You'll see this mentioned a lot. I've used it only once or twice, but it does work really well. Instead of having Claude Code go and fetch URLs, which it does do automatically, by the way, you can use Firecrawl and it's a little bit more powerful. I'm not gonna go into the nitty gritty details, but it's super easy, it's free. You can use it in all of your IDEs or in Claude Code here and it's good, it works, that's fine. I don't use it all the time. Uh, Claude Code Tamagotchi as well. I actually had one that I've, has been on my to-do list to try forever. I could not remember the name of it. I couldn't find it via the Google search right now. And I don't even remember what it does. I've just seen it pop up so many times on YouTube, on Reddit, and some other places. And I'm like, oh, I gotta go try this MCP. I completely forgot what it was. It was something to do with managing Claude Code's context. And so, spoiler alert, at the end of this video, I would love for you to tell me your favorite Claude Code tools, tips, tricks, resources, or whatnot, please drop them in the YouTube comments, all the stuff I'm missing, right? Let me know, because I want to hear it. But yeah, Claude Code uh, Tamagotchi, Tamaguchi, it gives you a fun little character, but it also has a few non-aesthetic 
benefits. So I have read, I refuse to implement this, but I do see it everywhere and I've actually heard it's somewhat useful. So there you go. You can see like different stuff like this, a little bit more data, a little bit more information, and it's just kind of fun to play around with. So I hear. I'm not gonna do it, but I feel compelled to mention it. Something I have been trying out the past two weeks is Tracer.ai. This is not an MCP. Switching gears a little bit, Tracer runs right in your IDE. I am here in Cursor, and it's mostly for planning. Uh, what you'll hear a lot of time is that the planning phase, you shift tab, and the, plan the planning mode on Claude Code isn't good, is good, I hear different things. I still use it all the time. I think it's absolutely fine. But I actually do think both Tracer and using Cursor's agents, which I do still to this day, I will actually use GPT-5 to do my planning for different features. I will leave it in ask mode, not agent mode. And then I will pass that information to Claude Code for implementation. Tracer is that, but more smooth. I won't say better just yet. I'm gonna be really honest. But you can start for free. They give you a, a nice free trial. I think it's a 10 day free trial. I'm still in mine. I, I signed up last week. I've used it like six or seven times already. And uh, it's good. It's not fantastic, but it's good. My one thing, one thing that would make this infinitely better if it were speedier, it's super slow. Like you thought Claude Code was slow compared to using Cursor or Windsurf or whatnot. Claude Code is slower for sure, but it does a better job planning and investigating. And Tracer is that times 10. Super slow, but it does do a pretty succinct job of figuring out, okay, here's the plan. And it's very detailed, but somehow easy to hand off. That's literally what they call it. Hand off to Cloud Code. It's like one click. Mine just integrated on autopilot, but you can also go into the settings and add different agents right here, depending on what you're running, including Codex, including Gemini, all that stuff. And then it just hands it off to Cloud Code for implementation. And it's free. Tracer.ai. I think they have a $10 a month plan as well with a few more credits, but it's pretty good. You should try it out. It's worth trying out. I don't know if it's worth paying for just yet, to be really honest, but it's definitely worth trying out. One more mega resource I found, awesome cloud code. So another GitHub repo here. This person, I don't know who this is, by the way. Like, I don't know who any of these people are, personally. He's really him, apparently. This is another just fantastic mega resource. Kind of like the first two things I mentioned in this video. Lots of different, this is like a curated list. It's not just this person creating content. As you can see, they actually list the authors here as well. But this is like a mega list of mega list for all the different tools, sub agents, commands, all that good stuff. CC usage, CC flare, like this is apparently like an MC tooling, tooling. Slash commands and then Claude MD files. Oh, is this the one? One of these had a huge, example library of Claude.md files, which is really great. I, I like seeing some of the different like subheaders that people would put in their Claude.md files and I thought it was pretty cool. I don't actually know if it's this one or not, but just last commands here. Again, there's more than just code too. Like a lot of these have business, marketing, project management, lots of different stuff here. That's pretty cool, awesome Claude code. And that's it, this was just a short list. I am going to keep this list updated as I find cool stuff. My inspiration for this video was me just like, oh, I have to like write some of these things down so I don't forget them. Like <laughs> I wanna organize them besides just bookmarks. And so that was me creating this list. So if I missed anything, let me know. Specifically, I'll tell you what I'm into right now, running multiple agents of Claude Code. Not sub agents, but I mean like running Claude Code in parallel. I'm really just two times, I think my brain would explode if I tried to do more, but I've also heard using Git work trees is really messy. It's actually sloppy and maybe not worth your time, but there are some other people that have been using the GitHub integration and the GitHub CLI to kind of run multiple agents in parallel and stuff like that. So I'm looking for resources like that. If you have anything, please drop them in the comments. And other than that, thanks for watching. Let me know how else I can help you here on this YouTube channel. Where am I? There I am. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a good day. Adios.